was Just on the mortgage second. too. We Look, went house shopping together until you decided to change your Ms. mind Ms. and had my if daughter say, behind the closed door. Get out. Get out of my courtroom. Fine. Now. Still Your case done. is dismissed. Get out. Okay. Your counterclaim is dismissed. Get out. That way. All I can tell you to do is this. She's not going to sign a quit claim deed. I cannot force her to sign a quit claim I deed. I understand this. You were together nine years, and that's what happens. There are courts in this country that deal with people who are married, and then they have equitable distribution of property that was acquired during the marriage. You're not married. No, ma'am. So there is no place for you in the legal system other than this quandary that you put yourself in by adding her to the deed of a house that you purchased. Yes, ma'am. Now, as far as the things are concerned that are in your house, what I gather from your complaint, which she doesn't deny, is that you gave her $30,000 to put into her account, and with that $30,000, she furnished the house. Correct. Right? Yes, ma'am. Her counterclaim, which I've dismissed, asks for the return of those things because she says that the $30,000 was a gift. No, ma'am. Yes, ma the $30,000 was a gift and therefore, anything she purchased with it belongs to her. So all of the appliances and furnishings for the house belong to her. That's what she's counterclaiming for. I've dismissed her counterclaim because she couldn't behave herself in my courtroom. I would have dismissed it anyway, but now I can dismiss it quieter because I don't have to listen to her, okay? I don't know if there is any truth to what she was insinuating with regard to your conduct with her daughter. That's for a whole other venue. All I can tell you is this, sir. I can't help you. I suggest you start acting civilly with each other. I can't force her to sign a quit claim deed to property, but I can tell you that I've dismissed her case and she can't get the property that's in your house. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand? Well, she has it all, so. She has the appliances? She has everything. She took it out with a U-Haul, her and Mr. Ingram here. He drove the truck and uh, they came in and took all the appliances out of my home, everything, left me with an empty shell, and then filed an order of protection on me, which I have right here, which I had to stay in court because they ordered me to move out of my house. And um, I got it and proved that it was falsified and denied. And the next day I went to do it and she'd do another one on me. I got it. Put your back in the house now. Yes, ma'am. I in the house. Yes, I am. Okay. But she does not reside there. Okay. For how long? Um, I've been in the house now since um, the last of these order protections, July 6th. Oh, well, it's not over. No, ma'am. Not by a <laughs> long shot. It's not over. It was... Whatever. Do you have any money left in the bank, Mr. Williams? Ma'am, no, ma'am. Hmm? No, ma'am. I have a $20,000 um, CD I put it. Good. So you have some money. But not for another year no. or so. Correct. Right. But you have it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Sorry I can't help you, sir. Next time, pay attention. Until you marry somebody, until you're ready to make that commitment, don't put their name on a deed. Got sure. it? Yes, Goodbye. <laughs> Buddies, are excuse you may step out. Because I'm still pretty emotional over it. It was my daughter that was in the basement when I heard what was going on in his room, okay, when I put the wash in. I was not with her daughter, okay? Not once have I ever been. I was her stepdad for 10 years. He's lying. He's been lying. I was the breadwinner. I took care of him. Because she and her boyfriend deliberately tried to take my home from me. I put my blood, sweat, and tears and the money that he gave me in the house to make a home. I fell through a roof. And I broke my back, my neck, my shoulder, my ribs. I had nothing left. And then he bullied me all the way out the house and threatened to kill me and hang me in the basement. It's a 96-year-old home and the basement is full of just concrete. No, I did not. I love this woman.